into his corner. Oh, he went full line. Yeah. I'm ready today, tomorrow. Hamza is uh, one of our up-and-coming talents here. Very, very good potential. Toughness you know, is something that you have inside you. And I saw that he had the toughness. He was willing to 
go to war. And with that, like, we, we're building something uh, devastating. Det är alltid förverkeri i Kamsa Kiberin. Kamsas utveckling har varit enorm. Jag tror att det är den största talangen jag har stött på på gymmet. Otroligt duktig naturbegåvning. Framtiden ser väldigt ljus ut. Och han, han kommer nå hela vägen, 100 procent. När du går ut i buren, alltså, jag vill inte vara där bara och fighta så, som morning fighter. När du går matchen, ja. Jag har inte respekt för honom när nu bara matchen börjar. Alla säger hälsa han och så. så. Det, jag vill inte hälsa. Sätt i UFC. Jag känns mig snart i UFC. Vi vet, vi vet inte vad det kommer. Framtiden. Men jag, jag hoppas jag ska vara i UFC. Det ska jag säga. Man kan ju respekt i matchen. Ingenting. Det är krig i buren.
main event of the evening. And shit is down. But Shabai heavy have shots coming up. He heavy shots landing on him. Those are huge strikes. Oh, oh three hell oh, oh, that belt and hold it. What a way to finish this main event, which ends at 35 seconds of the very first round. Your winner by TKO due to strikes. From Chechia, Hamzat Shemaya. Ladies and gentlemen, the hottest fighter on the planet Earth right now. Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar.
Abu Dhabi ready for war. This is Hamzad Chimayo. If he was not on your radar a few nights ago, perhaps he is now. Oh! oh! This guy is skillful, very, very good. How about the knock on the forehead oh, of John Phillips? That's it, Mike. He's got it. That's, That's it. it. Wow. Comes out she might have by submission. And he stays undefeated with an absolutely outstanding. Comes up for Shumaya. made a lot of the headlines over here on UFC Fight Island. Hamzat Borge, Kimaev. All right, let's size these guys up with the tail of the tape at welterweight. Both McKee and Kimaev are young fighters. McKee, two years younger at 24. Go. But it's brought you UFC level fighters before. Rodney Moore is the coach. Every time he posts up on the elbow to start to move. Fives in the welterweight division and oh, straight away straight in. we see Hamzat shoot in and he's going to fully pick him up and slam him but here though if he can find a way out of this he will he's got the hand free he's going to try and put him in there that's, uh, that might be it just when I say that Stop. There there goes. Goes. it's another win for Hamzat Chimaev here's Your winner by TKO and still undefeated Hamzat Boz Chimaev I don't know, but uh, I can fight after one hour, maybe. <laughs> if you give me one fight, if somebody injured, just tell me. I'm here in Abu Dhabi. Gonna smash everybody. <laughs> the guy is, is so dominant, so confident, wants to continue to fight every weekend. I love how talented this guy is. Your teammate, uh, Kamza Kimiev, uh, we saw him burst onto the scene now. Uh, we've seen him in Brave before. Well, what, do you, what do you make of him and, and uh, what do you think about his future? Very good. He's a future world champ, for sure. Uh, he's, he loves this. This is his life. He's, he's going to go all the way. So what's the end goal? A belt over each shoulder, two weight classes? Yeah, no problem, two, three. You know, we threw the hottest prospect out of, out of the UK at him, and that kid is a badass. Legit, great fighter. The kid's legit, he's real, and he knows it, and I love it. What's 192 to two, two, two in two fights. Hamzat Chemaev, 
Yeah. Hamza Mania is running wild, DC. I mean, this guy has just burst onto the scene, maybe the star of Fight Island, two victories in maybe. ten He has to work to go and get that wrist and pull it in. Shemaev is so long that the moment you try to post up on your elbow to get up, he can reach and grab that far side wrist, and then he just goes to work. I love his top control. Mm. Guy wins twice on Fight Island in 10 days. Um, that's a record. 68, I believe it was, significant strikes to none. Reese McKee did not throw or land a single punch. <laughs> Absolute mauling. This guy is unbelievable. This time, by the way, he fights at 170. His debut against John Phillips, you know, 10 days prior was at 185. Looks great at 170. Has the confidence of Khabib, talks smack like Khabib. And the thing about him is, and maybe it's something that Khabib didn't have early on, He's a finisher. Like he goes for the finish. He's not like one of these, you know, wrestlers who just wants to lay on you. He is going to kill you. He is going to maul you <laughs> like a wolf. I am so impressed with Hamza Chimaev. I cannot say enough good things about him. And, and here's what I'll say right now, DC. He is a blessing and a curse for the UFC because he is so good and is a future title contender, no doubt. Too easy. <laughs> yeah, too easy. I do smash somebody, you get money, brother. It's <laughs> perfect for me. He's just kind of talking like with his with his with his confidence and his belief it's not it's just that whole thing man i love everything about the kid do you look at the welterweight division and see anybody that can challenge you right now i mean that we Brother, need to find someone matter, that can slow you doesn't down doesn't matter everybody i gonna smash everybody how many fighters in the my division i gonna smash all the whole uh, division and, and you have no marks on your face you also have the quickest turnaround record in in the ufc how soon do you want to fight again Aside from today, obviously, because we're running out of opponents. I'm going to fight today also, <laughs> brother. I swear to God, I swear I'm going to fight one more. When you look at the style, which is very heavy, very pressure-based, push you into the fence, which is relevant. All of your shots that happen on the outside are just to drive the opponent to the fence. I keep pointing this out because sooner or later when somebody's getting ready for Khabib, they're going to realize those takedowns aren't there unless he gets you on the fence. Shawmat goes out, okay. He looks great. He forces a double right away. He's a nice long guy. Now they say he's a 55 pounder that's moved up to 170. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna finish everybody. Everybody. I'm gonna I always look at for finish. And smash somebody, knock him out like uh, like I did all my fights. I love him. I love him. I love everything about Hamza Shamayev. I love his aggressiveness. Yo, you would not believe it. Insane. And he doesn't, he finds finishes because he's so aggressive and because he must have a real belief in his cardio to throw as many strikes as he throws so quickly. I like it. Yeah, yeah, it's this kid, he's ready to, he's ready to fight uh, Usman. Is he ready for Usman? The way he looks, who knows, maybe. I'm ready, I'm ready today, tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. Let's go. And I believe on the TV you said you want to be the, the world champion at two weight classes. So is that the goal already? Yeah, of course. Why not? I'm ready for that. I'm born for that. My life is for to be champion. Hamzat Chemaev, wow, okay. But I've only seen two matches of his, and I'm telling you, looking at his frame, looking at his height, looking at his reach, looking at the broadness of his shoulders, I believe he should be a 170 pounder. And if he's got to eat a little bit and enjoy life a little bit more and take some time to build into that, I just think with his speed, and I also think with his youth, if he wants to have a shelf life, don't we one of these guys that buy it? I'll call that anymore. I will. Yeah, <laughs> Me too. People say they live in the gym, but I'm really real living in the gym. But I don't want to be like, you know, my visit, like my Greg attack, like maybe I want guys to show my money, show my course, like something like that. I, I want to help the people. So if Conor McGregor is watching this right now, Hamza, what is your message to Conor McGregor? Let's fight. <laughs> You're sitting in Ireland, 
and uh, talk to me because I think in uh, Sweden we can meet in Abu Dhabi right on the Las Vegas. So send me location like Habib say. Honor of Ranger tweeted, like, I accept. Does that mean anything or have you spoken to him at all? Yeah, that, that was Hamza. Hamza posted, I want Nate Diaz, Masvidal, or McGregor. And McGregor said, I accept. Um, when you talk about how quickly you want to advance him, I would give him one more fight with a guy that isn't uh, ranked. Are you booking him a fight before we potentially go to Fight Island? Yes. He'll fight here and he'll fight in Fight Island. But do you have an idea of rankings who he's going to be fighting? Is he top 15 opponents or is he just fighting whoever says yes at this point? We're working on a fight for him here that's still being worked, but we're talking about him and Damian Maya on Fight Island. I have never seen anybody run with a gimmick of I fight two guys at one time. I've just never seen it. Never even crossed my mind. Wouldn't have crossed your guys' minds either. It wouldn't have crossed Jemayev's mind. He just happened to be in the right place at the right time and said yes to an opportunity. Oh, by the way, lost 15 pounds to do it. Everything here is very great. It's very compelling. It's very interesting. I mean, nobody did that. Scheduling two fights at a time. Have you ever seen that before? But never where they came out and said it. And it was so interesting because they came out, and like Dana said, the Maya fight. They didn't even mention Gerald's name. It was a complete afterthought in all of this. And and I think Gerald's playing it up perfectly. He's saying, I'm going to shock the world. I'm going to stop the hype train. He's not even going to be healthy enough to make it to the Maya fight. So I don't even want to worry about the Maya fight. There's a dialogue going around about Chemayev that it was disrespectful to Chemayev's opponent, GM3 to book Chemayev twice in a row. So Dana had to come out and address this. And he said, look, I'd never do this for anybody else. I did this for this guy because this is what this guy wants. Now, Gerald has a 94% finish rate. You know, he has a 100% finish rate. The reason we made this fight is because it's a good fight. This, this is, this is a, a real fight, you know? And, and if this kid does get by his next two opponents, you know what I mean? It, 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 this Gerald isn't a, a layup, a stepping stone. Hamza, how about you? I mean, do you at all wish maybe this news hadn't got out that you have two fights lined up? Because uh, it, it seems like it's put a, a big target on your back. Now I'm here. I'm gonna smash these guys. <laughs> you know, I'm ready for everything. Like Dana said, not this. You know, in the boxing, brother, like they go five, six fights. Why you think about that? This is disrespect. One day they do six fights, but I can't do ten fights one day. Chemayev has two matches lined up. The unified rules will be followed. Everything is above board. Everything is advertised, and Chemayev earned this. Two different guys in two different weight classes. Having no idea it was coming and just saying yes shows that you're very sincere about the fact that you want to fight as quickly as you can and as often as you can. It just does. And maybe other people haven't been in that opportunity. I don't suggest for you Chemayev's the only legit badass around here. A lot of people are wondering if you could maybe climb the middleweight division and the welterweight division at the same time. Is that something you want to do or is it just coincidence you've had two divisions at once both times? <laughs> doesn't matter. I said yesterday, if my coach said I'm going to go with Brock Lesnar, I'm going to go with him. doesn't matter which way. Outside, they have to happen something. You're going to say, I come away in your No, brother, you're going to go with this guy. If Gerald gets mad, which any human being would feel like you want to be mad and offended, that may force you to make mistakes in there. If you just act as if it doesn't matter, your ego won't allow you to get past it. So Gerald's in a bit of a spot, man. I I think I'd be upset to try to keep things in perspective. This is a young guy the UFC's trying to get behind. This is my opportunity to take the thunder. I say that, I'm gonna smash your face. How are we gonna stop I'm that? Sure you think How are you gonna stop that, yo? I'll probably uh, beat you up. That's what's gonna happen. You and look at my thing. fight, you, you look at my last fight, no punches, like how many fights are he fighting? He's face. Dude, I can do it.
Yeah, because I'm tired of about most it. Like if somebody no tries to out, it. like you have to be go train harder at it. Like after throwing a kick, the first punch landed, landed flush. I know to show off your hands tonight. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hobbs and Boars This kid is extremely confident. He knows what he can do. He knows what he's capable of. And, and more importantly, he goes in and he does it. He does exactly what he says he's going to do. 17 seconds, one punch knockout. Kid's special, he's different, and my, you know, however many years I've been doing this, I've never seen anything like him. Yeah. What's going through your head as you're making the walk out here tonight? Kill this guy. What's he gonna do? Ah, just knock him out. Yeah. This, is, this guy is one of the most special fighters I've ever seen, if not the most special guy that I've ever come across. And he kept telling me leading up to this fight, you think I'm a wrestler. You'd think I'm a wrestler. Wait till you see my hands. Holy shit. He wasn't lying. You just got to the UFC a couple months ago, but I feel like people are going to start talking about you for a title shot. I mean, do you feel like you deserve to be in that discussion already for a title shot? Of course, why not? I did hard work for that. I'm ready. You, you prefer one division over the other or just whichever? Both divisions. If you were the smaller guy, you were unlikely to win the striking battle. Your punches just aren't going to hurt. They're just not going to hurt the bigger guy as much. This is not only theoretically, this is logically speaking as well. He threw one punch tonight that landed. He put down the bigger guy. That's scary. Yeah, what's crazy is when you talk about his win tonight and what he did and how impressive he was, he knocked out a guy who's 185 pounds, a real guy, with one punch. He's a 170 pounder. So um, I'm telling you, the guy is like nothing I've ever seen before. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Special. Did you, had this fight become personal to you? I mean, obviously you guys were talking a lot and going back and forth. I mean, were you, were you going in there a little angry wanting to prove something? I always angry to smash somebody and knock him out like I did now. But nothing impressionant, like it's sport. In 2021, Hamza Chamayev is the double champ. 170 yes, and 185. I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling Izzy. I'm no, telling go, Izzy. I love that. Izzy. But listen, he go up and down, dog. He can fight everybody. After what I saw, Aaron, because you know, we talked about this. I'm like, man, if he can run through Gerald. This kid is going to be a massive superstar. He, oh, and let's not forget, he did this at 185 pounds to a real guy at 185 pounds. He's a 170 pounder. Mm -hmm. So everything that could possibly be special about this guy is special. Does it make it sweeter that the first two fights you had in the UFC were so, you know, grappling based, people were calling you Khabib, and now you come out and, and land a punch like a knockout artist? Does that make it a little sweeter? Now they have to tell me, like, this is Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't matter for me how this is going, but I do my hard work and I come back, I take my wins and go home uh -huh. and start again. 
Is it momentum? Has he caught a hot hand? Is he on a roll? Sure, all those things are very possible. Is he just this good? That's also very possible. I will suggest for you the buck stops at Damian Maya, no matter who you are. Give him a title shot. Give him I want a title shot with you. Come on. Aaron, give him a title shot. Give him a title shot. He's ready. Because when he was beating these dudes up with all the takedowns, everybody kept going. No, Daniel. His kickboxing is what he's known for. He's the best at stand up. And I'm like, no, he is. There's no way. There's, with the way that he can beat these guys on the ground, there's no way. We turn him around, he fights again, and he does it again, you know? Um, and, it, and it's like, yeah, now I want to come, I want to come to Vegas and I want to fight in Vegas. It's just, I've, I've never experienced that with anybody ever. Not even close, not even remotely close. The guy's special. I've been in this game my whole life. I've never seen anything like him. You feed people in the dark, right? He does it with his heart because he said, as you do things for people here, it will come back to you in your afterlife. I mean, what he's, he's, he's got great philosophy. He's got a great mind for fighting. He's got all the physical ability to dominate two weight classes. This is a real deal. So what uh, what do you do from here? I mean, the, the Damian Maya fight, that was already the double booking, right? Are we staying with Damian Maya or are we s straight to a, a championship fight or something after tonight? It doesn't matter for me. <laughs> I go to the next. If there's Damian Maya, if it's Kamara, Usman, Gilbert, Bams, somebody else, it doesn't Thank matter. So much. I'm ready for everybody.